guys, what's up? In this video, you're going to learn to use the Play Store and the App Store for iOS and Android. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's begin by discussing what the differences between these two softwares are. The Google Play Store is owned by Google and is used by all devices that have the Android operating system. Some companies that use Android are Samsung, Huawei, Redmi, and many more. The App Store is a bit different. The App Store is owned by Apple and is found on devices with the iOS operating system. The difference is that Apple is the only company that uses iOS. So the App Store is specifically only for people who use Apple. Now the apps that are found on both of these are similar, but not the same. So the App Store may have apps like Overcast that the Play Store doesn't, and Android may have apps like Solid Explorer that are not on Apple. First, let's show the Google Play Store. To open it, all you have to do is press on this icon on your device. Once it opens, you should be on a page like this. Now you can install apps and games. To find popular games, go to the Games tab, which you should be on by default anyway, and then just browse the page. If you're on popular apps and utilities, go to the Apps tab, and then do the same thing and so on for movies and books. Now, some of the games and apps are paid, so if you want those, you have to pay for them, but it will show you if they are paid. Now the best part of the Google Play Store, the search bar. On the search bar, you can search the names of apps, or just the style and category of the app, like conferencing app, you can even search stuff like PvP games, wow, and etc. To install an app or a game, just click on the logo of that app, click the green install button, and then just wait for it to install. Depending on how big the size of the app is and how much storage has been taken up on your device, it will change uh, the storage size will change. See now this game is installed on my phone. And then to open it, just do this. And voila, you installed an app on the Google Play Store. Now we can move on to the Apple App Store. For the App Store, which is on iOS devices, click on this icon to open the App Store. Once you open it, you should be on a page like this that shows the most popular games and apps of today. To find popular games on the App Store, click on the Games tab in the bottom. Same for apps. The App Store doesn't have the books and movies like the Play Store does, but it does have this arcade tab in which you can find the pays, paid apps only. It gives you the option to try them for free before having to buy them. And last but not least, we have the search bar once again. Click on it and then search whatever you want, like conferencing app, or PvP games, etc. To download apps and games on the App Store is a bit different. You have to click on the icon for the app which you want to buy and then it asks you for your fingerprint for your iCloud account. If you've never used your fingerprint before then it will ask you for the iCloud password. But anyways, just download it and then again, just like Android, it will take a, lot, a while to load. And then once it loads, just click open to open it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.
For the App Store, which is on iOS devices, click on this icon to open the App Store. Once you open it, you should be on a page like this that shows the most popular games and apps of today. To find popular games on the App Store, click on the Games tab in the bottom. Same for apps. The App Store doesn't have the books and movies like the Play Store does, but it does have this Arcade tab in which you can find the pays, paid apps only. It gives you the option to try them for free before having to buy them. And last but not least, we have the search bar once again. Click on it and then search whatever you want, like conferencing app or PvP games, etc. To download apps and games on the App Store is a bit different. You have to click on the icon for the app which you want to buy and then it asks you for your fingerprint for your iCloud account. If you've never used your fingerprint before then it will ask you for the iCloud password. But anyways, just download it and then again just like Android it will take a, lot, a while to load. And then once it loads, just click open to open it. That's pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.